Welcome, Achievers and Spartans, to your Halo Infinite Impressions video, I guess is what we'll call this. Halo Infinite Flight mm -hmm. Impressions videos. I am one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me in the same hell pod. Alex, how are you? Hello. I'm here to finish the fight. Thank you so much, Alex. Now, we are coming at this... As huge Halo fans, starting with yes. really three, for me at least. Um, Alex, if I'm incorrect, you as well. What do you mean? With Halo 3? This is how we started our love of the franchise. I'm pretty sure you started with Halo 3, correct? Uh, I mean, I've always loved Halo, but I mean, together, we Halo 3 was the first one we played together. Because mm, that's when did I you met, play, met you. Did you play 1 and 2 beforehand? Yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. So I, played, I played Halo 1 on PC a long time ago, like before, uh, like around OG Xbox days. Okay, okay. I, I started with three. I didn't. I didn't have an original Xbox, so I couldn't play one and two. I only gotcha. played one and two when they eventually. Excuse me. When they eventually pat not patched um, mm. remastered it for three sixty. Yeah, it was remastered mm -hmm. for three sixty. It was called uh, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary mm -hmm. Edition or something like that. And then. I played two, of course, when they put that in the Master Chief Collection. I had never played that. But I started with three. And we're going to be talking about the flight with the knowledge of two people who have been with the franchise for a good while. Yes. Um, this was our first flight. We did not get into the um, actual first flight. This is our first flight mm -hmm. playing the game. We, of course, started last week yes. with arena mode. This is more of... I would say a classic Halo with that mode with arenas. Um, yeah, it's like a four. It's like a smaller, you know, four v four. Yeah, it it was it was fun, although it did lack. I feel like quickness. That's why I love Team SWAT so much. Is um, you're really getting in, wiping teams and, and going out, and like it is very fast paced. Whereas four, I think it's a, just a touch slow especially with the maps that we had i i loved oh, sure. first off i did love the maps specifically yes. um but the kind of bizarre level um like mm -hmm. like a like a bazaar from i don't know almost like aladdin or in kingdom hearts like that level almost mm -hmm. um that's what it kind of remind me of but that bizarre ish level i it seemed like it was a touch too big for for for, for mm -hmm. just a touch just well, touch, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of times I was kind of walking around like, what is it? Oh, is it? Was it called Bazaar? Yes. Oh, the, nice. the, okay. the, fir the very first one that kind of like, it's kind of like a, um, it looks like a bazaar. So a Southern Eastern, like, uh, yeah, like yeah. kind of like a storefront type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Like West yeah. market, I would say. Yeah. A market, definitely a market, but yeah. I enjoyed that. Now, Alex, before we really kind of start talking about the whole thing, I, I don't know what halo means to you. Okay. But I kind of broke it down into four categories, I feel. Okay. Um, combat. So, like, actual gunplay. Okay. Guns, which I think mm -hmm. is definitely separate from actual combat. A gun can feel good, but the combat cannot be good. For sure. Um, abilities. Asterisk equipment is what I put down there. Equipment, you know, you can say abilities, equipment. Abilities haven't really been a thing since... I would say Reach was a big ability, although it did it was kind of equipment, yes. but it felt more like mm. abilities in that game because you had the big shield yeah. and then you had the there was there was a lot there was a lot there one. was a lot in Reach and there was a I feel like a lot in f like four? like like well why well. like if you're gonna put a sprinting in the game why is it an ability like I didn't that was like that that was weird I forgot about that you reminded yeah. me that that was the thing and now I'm angry again mm -hmm. um. That was the third category, equipment slash abilities. And then four, just the general Halo factor. I, I just call it, is it Halo? So yeah. let's start with the first one, combat. Okay. How did the combat feel to you? It, it felt great. It felt great. I agree. Yeah. I liked each engagement felt very nice, especially mm, I, my favorite out of these two weekends was definitely Big Team Battle, although... Um, sure. It was strange going from 4v4 to 12v12. Like, it was quite the mm -hmm. jump. Um, and we didn't get multiple maps with Big Team Battle, unfortunately. But yeah, luckily, the map design was so good, I didn't care. 
Um, but with the 4v4, again, I did feel like the combat was a little too slow to me. It was a, it was very methodical. You did have to really think out your strategy. Some people like that, and I do sometimes. But when, sometimes when I play Halo, again, that's why I like Team SWAT. It's very quick. You die in five seconds, you, you're immediately back <laughs> in the game, and you go right back to it. Yep. What did you think of the combat in this flight? I, no, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I do prefer... I prefer the 12v12 or even, and I feel like 4v4 is just not enough. People at least give me 6v6. I think 6v6 is the sweet spot. Yeah. um, Yeah. um, 12v12 at some points, it's a bit too much because I'm like over here. I literally just spawn trying to run to something. I get shot from the side. Yeah. All right. So there is a little bit too much at times, but that could change between maps. This one was the map that we got was a little, was pretty open. Uh, to like, there's a lot of you know air, ways you can go, but I do prefer big team battle because you, you know it's just action the whole time. And you of don't... course, vehicles are very fun for sure. Yeah, but there won't be a time where like with four v four, I feel like if depending on the map, people can hide. You're like, all right, where is everybody? Yeah, yeah. You can and you can. It's a lot easier to set up in a four v four. Like if you set up in a specific area, it might be very hard to take them out. And then, but mm-hmm. that really comes down to the map design, and the map design of those three maps that we got in the first week, all very phenomenal maps. My favorite was the you, Alex. You're really good with map names. You're gonna have to help yeah. me here. The one with the yeah. warthog in their arena mode. Oh, we, I got you. With the uh, capture here. flag, it was a big desert. Yes, or, I, um, I yes. loved that. That might be my favorite map. That from was the flight at, like uh, all of them. Oh my god. Um. Give me a second and I'll figure no, it yeah, out. Go ahead. I'll get back and then I also liked the UN. Yeah, I call it the UNSC training ground. I, again, I'm not good with the mm-hmm. map names, but the. So the one you're thinking of is called Behemoth, the, Thank the you. one we like. Yeah. The other one that's like a UNSC ground thing, or you're talking training. about the one outside is yeah. Live, Live Fire. Live Fire. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Live and Fire the one was inside also. Inside is called Recharge. I was, you know, the, the one inside. Le- recharge was fine. Like, it was good. Yeah. But I liked those other two maps a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot. lot. I, I really enjoy those. Um, I mm-hmm. think Behemoth is my favorite of the mm-hmm. maps that we got. But I don't think there was a bad map yet. Out Not of yet. all the four maps, I think all of them are very good. Yep. And then the big one for 12v12 is Fragmentation. Fragmentation, yes. Fragmentation is dope. I love mm-hmm. the big base in the middle, each having bases at, at, at opposite ends. And then the vault mm-hmm. system. Whew. That vault mm-hmm. system was very, very fun. Although, um, I did hear you get kind of uh, wrecked a couple times trying to get into that, Alex. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> you were like right at there about to open, and you just get sniped in the head. That was always very yeah. frustrating. Mm-hmm. But fragmentation, very good. These were all good maps. Shout out. I, it's been a long time since I've been able to say I enjoyed a map this much. Yeah. Um, I did not. It, it was hard to like a lot of the maps in Halo 5. I did like the giant purple room in the middle had the like kind of stand in it it's like one of the first maps they ever showed of that game um and it was just a giant purple room um again i'm not oh, good with the map name so I'm i sorry. know i think I, I think i know exactly what you're yeah, as, yeah as soon as yeah. you see a picture you'll be like oh this way someone but yeah, yeah that was really the only that's the only map i can remember even from that whole game uh so mm-hmm. Five, I didn't really enjoy it with their maps, but these designs are fantastic. I can't wait to sink my teeth into these, and also, I can't wait to see more of these maps. Now, we don't, we still, as of recording, as far as I understand, we don't have any sort of idea how many maps we're getting or the final map count, if there's any remastered, which you would imagine there are, how many new ones, we don't know. We just know these four maps that we've seen so far. Uh, And I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten... I don't think there were any maps in the last flight that weren't in this one. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that because I think there was only two maps in the last flight, and those two maps were in this one. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, maps I enjoyed. The combat in the maps are pretty good. Uh, and again, that bizarre level is very, very fun, especially when you grab a commando yes. and you're popping heads. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, that that, that was fun. Yep. <laughs> Gunplay, guns, which is my favorite part of any Halo is playing with the new guns. Um, I remember my first time picking up something like the Needler and, of course, picking up the Needler rifle and things like that in Halo 3, 4, and 5. Those are always fun moments. Now, in this one, picking up a skewer 
and shooting that thing is probably one of the most satisfying guns I've shot in a very long time in a video game. It is like that right amount of thump is what I call it. Like it, you get the immediate reaction when you pull the trigger and it feels like you're shooting something very powerful. And I love that gun. Alex, did, were there any new guns that you enjoyed? I know you were a little weaker mm -hmm. on the guns than I was. I, I, I enjoyed mm -hmm. almost every gun. The Commando loved. Skewer, I love it. Ravager, at first, big fan at, too. At first, I didn't like the Commando, but then I got, I, I grew to love it. Or like okay. I really grew to like it. Uh, the other ones, didn't really care too much for it. I, I, I just enjoy the way the sniper feels now. That was my yes. biggest thing. Yes. Now, sticking with the sniper, what are your thoughts of the new sort of flinch mechanic? If, for, if you haven't noticed, Achievers. When you are zooming in with a weapon, you can zoom in with any weapon now. Um, it's not just a pistol or the sniper. You zoom with any weapon. The caveat is, though, as soon as you in take a damage, you immediately exit your zoom. What did you think about that? I, I, I like that because, I mean, if it, that feels more of a realisticness thing. It's like, you know, if you're getting shot from the side and, I'm, and, you're, and, and somebody's still aiming at you, at least that, that will make it to where they, they can't shoot you and, and vice versa to me. Like, at some points, you're, yeah, you can get frustra frustrated because you're the one trying to kill somebody, but it's more like, oh, you know, it's fair. You yeah, know, I'm yeah, getting shot. A... Obviously, I'm not going to keep aiming down a gun while I'm getting shot at. <laughs> this is a lot of problems in some PvP games. Um, I, when I think of Call of Duty and I think of Destiny, specifically Destiny, because I'm playing that right now, um, uh, flinch is a big deal, especially if you aren't getting the correct amount of flinch, or in some games, there's almost no flinch at all now. In Destiny... There is flinch, but if you time it right, I mean, you might as well have not gotten shot at all. But in this one, I do feel like you you get punished if you are zoomed in and you are just kind of laning and you're not looking around. If you get shot, you're immediately out of your zoom. You're going to be disoriented a little bit. You got to get your grounds. Like, where did I just get shot from? You're having to take a lot in. And I do like the immediacy of the um, kind of punish if you're just kind of zooming in in a, certain, in a specific way because it did deter me from from laning from just sitting in a corner and just po yeah. point because at any point someone could shoot me and i immediately am out of my zoom and i have to now answer three questions at once where did i get shot from all right now can i zoom in on that or can I, you know so i loved that as well i yeah, i didn't know your thoughts on that and i did like the yes i, I enjoyed the flinch it. aspect in the game uh back to what i was talking about though um the the new guns you you weren't um very high hot on them is there something that you can point to for the reason because i have nothing but good things and i kind of like that you um, have something to say that's uh counter to me so so is it is there something is it the feel um is it is it the way it feels when you shoot it i, I the think it's, pro I, it's probably a little bit of both because okay. like for example hmm, let's start with the commando i want to know why you don't like okay. the commando i first i didn't like it just because uh like when like i'm trying to aim like i feel like the aiming when you aim in you okay. have to be you can't just hold the thing down and spray it because mm. if not the recoil is aggressive mm. so you kind of like have to like tap it semi quick and uh, and i don't know unless I, i'm probably I, I maybe i just suck with the gun but mm. it i i couldn't it was harder it was harder to control i need i need to help you with your your settings because i feel like i found jesus with the settings i got right now i don't okay. i should have taken them i think i have a clip i'll send it to you after this but i have a certain amount of um like settings on my controller and it feels great to shoot because yes it does move a little bit but i'm able to kind of control it on the target and i feel like that's why i'm good with it now okay. if i didn't have these settings though and for the regular player i don't know how good that is i didn't play on a regular controller i am playing on an elite controller i have crazy settings all over the place i have my synth in the game at a specific point and i have look acceleration and all that stuff turned all the way down there's a lot of stuff factoring in to me liking the commando so i'm not just gonna say you can pick the gun up and like it i just enjoy it the way i have my specific settings applied um yeah and i do see where you're coming from alex especially with that commando because you do feel that recoil that recoil yeah. is very strong, but if you could control that thing, you will melt yeah. people. BR. The BR I really liked. Yeah, you did. Oh, my yeah, God. Uh, the BR feels yeah, the great. BR, yeah, the BR felt really feels good. Feels great. Now, Alex, hmm. sticking with guns. Okay. I've heard a myriad of reactions to a lot of the guns via the grapevines of Twitter and et cetera, comments and things of such. Okay. One question for you. 
Okay. Is the assault rifle too strong? No. That is an argument online. That the, the assault rifle reason- currently is screwed from. One Ryan McCaffrey said that very thing. He said that assault rifle is too strong. Apologies if I got that incorrect. Pretty sure that was him though. I can't agree with that. I, I think it's just I fine. It, I'm not I'm not like two clipping people. Like if you go through a clip, you're probably like if you let's say you kill one one Spartan. You're probably mm-hmm. not going to get an immediate kill in a second one. And if you do, you're on your almost... Uh, well, I don't even kill. think it's... I don't think it's meant to do that. Like, I've... I mean, I've killed one guy with the with just the one clip. I sometimes haven't, which I, it forces me to switch to my secondary, probably the pistol, and double tap him at the end. Yeah, I... For, I, I feel like- I feel like Dos Rifle was more of a shield killer, and then you switch to your secondary, I, and then you kill him with the rest of that. Yeah, yeah, I could see that, too. Like, when you're, when you're starting the game off, yeah, I, I can feel that for sure. Yeah. I do love the pistol, and that's another thing people are saying are too strong. What do you think about that? Now, I have to disagree wholeheartedly with saying the yeah. pistol's too strong. Now, is it doing a lot of damage? Sure, but it is... As if it, if it's getting That's tweaked, strong. it needs to be minor, and it should be strong. I feel like these guns yeah. should be strong. Now, I would love to start writing out TTKs for all these guns, um, and just seeing really like how strong each gun and how fast you can kill somebody. But we have to be very careful with things like that because optimal TTK is not the TTK, which is uh, for sorry achievers. I should be saying these. No, TTK means time to kill. So yeah. it, for for a gun's optimal time to kill, that means you got all headshots. Now in Halo, Infinite specifically, doesn't matter if you get headshots. As as long as they have a shield, it does not matter where you're hitting them. It only matters after their shield is gone if you are hitting them in the head or not. That will do increased damage. Um, which I don't, I, I don't, I don't think that's been a thing in Halo before. Is, uh, what do you, Alex? Is that true? What was it? So you do no extra damage when shooting someone's head when they have a oh. shield on but as soon as their shield is gone that is when you want to hit the head has that been a thing I, in all halos i, I have never noticed that if it i is. don't think i've noticed I, definitely it's definitely not in this one because i literally just tried to head shit the hell out of this dude and it didn't it didn't know difference yeah i learned this from the loading screen of halo infinite is saying your shots do not matter when they have a shield as soon as the shield is gone headshots kill them immediately so mm. I know that for a fact for this one. I just don't know if that's always been a thing. I feel like that it has been and I just haven't noticed. Maybe I really hadn't been doing extra damage to someone like but shooting their head, but I've always tried to shoot people in the head in Halo. Like always. But Yeah, I can never I've never really noticed. I've just I, I think that the game is just so fast paced I can never I can never really tell. Yeah, yeah. It, and again, it's I don't think it's super important, but I do love that feeling of bursting someone's shields and immediately sh- sh- switching to my handgun and getting the quick draw metal. Oh, that feels great. Yeah, that feels great. Um, but yeah, I love the skewer. That is the giant rocket launcher that shoots a giant like rail nail thing. That feels great when you pop someone in the chest with that thing also really fun shooting warthogs with that when there's like three people in that thing you just shoot it and explodes get triple kill oh, give me more of that um let's quickly go into the equipment alex um okay. when when i hear equipment in this game i think zipline and that's all i want to oh, use the gra- all the oh, time yeah. give me the grapple all the time that grapple is probably one of the is probably like one of the most fun things in this game it makes you it makes yeah, your mobility I, times 100 literally when we were playing on fragmentation on 12b12 that was the main thing i was looking for the whole time yes yep that in the sniper yep uh, if as when i had a grapple i knew i had a great way of engaging or disengaging and jesus christ the fun stuff you can do with that thing you can spider-man around the map basically i saw mm-hmm. a really fun video of someone shooting up a rock seeing the hornet fly by and like shooting across to the you hornet. You talking about the banshee? No, it, well, I saw a banshee one, but I saw a hornet. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I think they're called hornets in the game. Yeah, hornets. You know, the, the yeah, yeah, UNSC yeah. flying thing. Yep. And yep. he it deta- attached to it and kicked the guy off. It's so cool. that Stuff yep. like that is like, this. that is when Halo is going to be very fun. Saw a lot yeah. of people um, 
uh, grappling to a warthog, taking over the warthog, driving the warthog off the map, and ziplining back to safety. Like, that stuff is going to be so fun to watch. Yeah. When people um, get really good with the game. I was watching uh, Andy Cortez yeah. uh, playing, and he literally was, if, like, he saw a banshee. He's, he gra- grappled to it, took it over, went around, and, put, and like, ran into the dude, that, and he killed him. And then he kept flying, and then the game was over. Yeah, nonsense like that is what I love. Like, I, I want more of the, hey, look at this clips. Hey, look mm-hmm. at this crazy thing I saw on Halo Infinite last night. Like, me, I've never, I never make clips in video games, and I've uploaded, mm-hmm. like, three of them ever yeah. since playing this game. This game is just so fun bombastic is a word i'd use for this it's, it's wild mm-hmm. what's going on and i and i love love the addition of the grapple gun now i will say the drop wall i am whatever about it's it's fine i i don't like it because i get that it, you're it's there to cover you from shooting but i, I don't you think can't it is. shoot it either yeah i can't so it's, I thought it's, you it's, can it's, shoot it can't no, you shoot so behind you, it so you so you can shoot it, but it deters the whatever square mm. you're shooting. So the enemy can shoot it, and you can shoot it. Your bullets won't go through it. You shoot it, and you break it yourself too. Mm. So, so it's just I think I think it's literally there for grenades. Probably. I think it, I think that's what it's so there it for. Most of the grenades, yeah. Um. So when you, I think you do it to start an engagement. You just throw it. And then you mm. just expect like a grenade at you. Now, it is technically stopping a couple bullets. If that matters or not, I don't know. But some people were saying the drop shield needs to be stronger. I think we need to be very careful with that thing. Very careful. We do not want that thing be turning into a bubble shield. I don't think I don't think we want that. So oh my God. I, I think it's in a fine place. If it needs to be a mm. tiny bit stronger, I'm okay with that. But that thing, we need to be very careful because that's how you start nonsense with like someone throwing it down and being able to lane you with commandos because you just can't shoot them. So yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm okay with where it is. If it needs a slight buff, I'm fine. Um, uh, active camo, I think, and uh, the overshield are pretty standard stuff. Although the active camo, you are invisible. You no one sees you. You are you cannot be seen. That, I don't care what anyone says. You cannot see people who are very, have active camo on. One of the very first matches I played last week, I literally took Invis. We were inside that one building, Recharge. I took Invis, yes. and I took the Gravity Hammer. I literally killed everybody probably about three that. times each. Yep. Literally, I, they were chasing me because when you sprint, it decloaks you. So yep. they see you. They started shooting at me. I turned around, waited to be uh, uh, I crouched, wait, uh, cloaked again. They ran at me. Wow, I killed them. <laughs> like it, it is I was I so I watched someone go from I can see them to camo and I was like they're invisible. Ooh. Like and, yep. and yep. I don't hate it because it's so temporary. I, and and, mm-hmm. and this is a guy that doesn't use it. I don't use active camo. I've maybe used it four times maybe. I and use I, it if I see it. Like I don't go searching for yeah, it. Yeah, same same. I've used it maybe four times, and both times I sniped with it. So it's not even, I don't even think that's technically what you're supposed to use it for. I think you're supposed to be running on fools and yanking them with a gravity hammer. Uh, mm-hmm. But I thought that was fine. Overshield seems pretty strong, but that's the point of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've, st- I've killed people with the thing on, anyways. So I, I, do you like that you actually have to activate it instead of automatically hitting yeah. it? With, it it's, yeah, same. I, was yeah, it's, I like, we, I like that you can Way more tactical. It. You get to be way yep. more tactical with it. You, yep. you, don't, you don't feel like you're, you're, there's a timer Wasting as soon as it. you pick it up. Like, you're like, okay, I better go find some people like right now and, and so I yep. can go use it. it it's, it, yeah, you have like plenty of time to be like, okay, all right, I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, I love grabbing it, walking out, killing someone, seeing that they dropped like a, gra- a grapple. Be like, all right, over shield on, grapple gun, foink. And then Spider Man off and murdering someone with, with a gun. So, um, oh, very quick, uh, the shotgun, it, it's a little weak. It's a little weak. A little weak. I don't think it needs to shoot any faster. The range, just a just a tad bit higher. The range needs to be a, just a tad bit higher. Not too mm-hmm. much though. I don't need to be. I don't want to be shot from fifty yards away with that thing. But shotgun. Mm. Oh, I'm a huge fan of shotguns. This one, not a great shotgun. Do you think the, when the, once the game comes out, do you think they're gonna add the other shotgun, the original one? I think we're I think we're gonna go to a seasonal getting, model where we get a gun yeah. every season. I think 
maybe because okay, I know we're supposed to be uh, we're definitely supposed to be getting more guns, and I know yeah, at least for the campaign because you know there's still the the ma- the not the mauler. mauler. No, isn't that what it's called? The no no the the, kind uh, of the, weird... the oh. spiker. It's the the one that, that the br- the brutes use. Is isn't that, that the spiker? I thought it was called the mauler. I thought you were no, right mauler, the first time. Mauler is the sh- uh, the mauler's the shotgun the weird magnum one. Oh. The spike- Spiker, I, I think it's the spiker. Uh, let me yeah, see. Yeah, you check on you check on that. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely get more guns. We're definitely getting a lot more guns. Yeah, it's called spiker or spiker, spiker rifle. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we'll get a lot more guns out. Although, like I said, see, we're going to a season base. This is new for Halo. We're gonna be getting new guns. It's gonna be weird. We'll, I'm sure we'll get. All right, this season's Halo Combat Evolved season, and we're celebrating Halo One. Here's the halo one magnum and it's and it's a special drop and it's as strong as you are you know just weird stuff like that i'm sure they're gonna have fun with how they do drops and stuff but any how often do you how often do you think they'll do you think that they'll get do you think they'll get rid of guns like well you know for example like how apex does sometimes where or or fortnite does like where they you know apex doesn't get rid of guns but fortnite definitely does Um, fortnite gets yeah they've all done so for example these um, there's a lot of these guns that look very reach and i know that's the first season yes maybe like when the next season comes out it's going to be a different one so maybe we'll get a uh, will they'll swap them out would you care for that um so like what if they got rid of your commando Hmm. That's a great question. For, like a season, now, for a season. Now, they have to be careful with stuff like that. The reason mm-hmm. Apex does not vault guns is because you buy skins. As soon as you mm-hmm. vault a gun, that means you have vaulted every skin that person has ever bought for that weapon. So, I don't think they are looking to piss people off. So, if they start selling skins for these guns, these things are getting vaulted. Period. So, yeah. the reason Fortnite gets away with that is you don't buy skins for the guns. You buy them, f- you buy wraps, which could be applied to anything. Um, so, if they, and they are selling skins for the guns. So, I, I think we get in a weird territory. Now, the way they can get around that is hey, this mode has only reach guns. I don't know. You know, stuff like that. They can get around with that. that like, H- Halo, we yeah, know, yeah, is it. not afraid of putting a million modes in their games. Modes, yeah. Yeah, so. And if, God knows, well, and once we get custom games and Forge and yep. stuff, they'll be able to do that. Yep, Forge, unfortunately, two seasons. We're going to have to wait six months, basically. Probably more than that, actually. Probably closer it's, to ten it's, months. It's, uh, remember, it's a, it's like ten months to a year, and it's six months for co-op. So we're getting co-op first, and then a, for, a Forge is like a year after. Sure, yeah, that sounds right. Um, roughly, anyways. But yeah, yeah. Uh, any final thoughts on weapons? They're fine. Yeah, I love the again, love the spiker. Love the Ravager. The Ravager is very satisfying to shoot, although I don't understand the powered mode. I am assuming when you hold it down, I'm getting fire on the ground. Is that what it is, Achievers? Let me know in the comments. So what was what was I supposed to do with that? It didn't feel strong at all. That's probably why I keep getting screw, uh, like beaten. <laughs> we covered equipment pretty efficiently. Vehicles are basically the same. I didn't see anything different with the vehicles. No, so they're all oh. about, they're all the same. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> Oh, one thing, the ghost is abnormally, like, too powerful, like, health-wise. Yeah, you Jesus. have to get creative. I, I, I stand mm-hmm. by this. The, the ghosts seem strong until you ha- find the weapons need to. Sniper, snipe them, snipe them out, out the thing. Two, get a grappler, grapple that thing. Three, the, we didn't talk about it. Uh, I just blanked on it. The MP grenades. Um, I'm just going to call them that. The, I think they're yeah. called shock grenades in the game or something. But what are called shock grenades. The, 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 the EMPs. When you throw them, mm-hmm. it turns their vehicle off. And they're literally, you can do whatever you want to them now. I, I feel like as long as you, if you know there's a ghost on the run and they're being annoying, you pick up that, that grenade. As soon as you see them, throw the grenade. They, now they can't do anything. And you I just, just feel go. like um, I feel like I, I just feel like the armor on the uh, the vehicles are either, are very heightened compared to the last ones. Because for example, Halo Three, two grenades, I could destroy a whole warthog. You I can. threw two grenades. I threw two grenades with the to the warthog in this game, barely tickled it. Yep, it, yep. it did the thing where it just bounces. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and I had two guys, and I was like, "What the hell?" Yeah, again, I I think I'm fine with it now. You have to have the tools at your disposal to fight that thing. Yes. I get. I pick up yeah. a spiker. That warthog's dead. I shoot it twice. If it's damaged, skewer. just one. Uh, sorry, I'm saying spiker now. Skewer. Thank you. Um, yeah, if I shoot that thing twice with a skewer, it's dead. So mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm fine with it. But again, 
when we see the final launch, we'll, we'll really know how annoying it is. I don't think it was very annoying. I didn't honestly die that much to Order Hog. Or uh, Ghost, the first time I was playing, yes, I was getting destroyed. But a little bit of an, an adaption, I think, and you're fine. You, you yeah. That thing won't kill you anymore. Just have an EMP. Just, just turn them off. You hit the off button on the thing. You're like, all right, I'm going <laughs> to come kill you now. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we talked we talked just about everything I want to touch so far. So let's get into I think what is the most important thing about this video game is is it Halo? I think yes. Uh, yeah. I think yes is it's it's Halo that we haven't had Halo in a long time. Mm-hmm. 5 I think is Although it had fun ideas, the actual execution didn't land anywhere near for me. Although people are now saying that they love Halo 5 multiplayer, which I don't know where this all came from, but no one liked Halo 5's multiplayer when it came out. No one played it, but I haven't enjoyed Halo multiplayer this much since the launch of Halo 3. Yep. Period. This has been the... I have been thinking about the halo infinite multiplayer since i played it last week like those three days i played i was like i want to play more and then the next week i was like alex you like getting on or <laughs> like you want to play some matches and we got our, one of our buddies into it too and i was like oh yeah we're playing some halo and we're and it's back and i'm so excited i'm so excited and, if, and again it feels like halo Alex, you're not one of the purists. Um, I don't know many of the purists, but I am very glad about the changes. I know some people argue like hey, you shouldn't be able to sprint in Halo, and and, and you're uh. like, and you're like, go back to your retirement home, Grandpa. I'm sorry, who let you out? You're you're not supposed to be out here. But th- this is Halo. This is Halo. This is like what we should be at Halo. Yeah, if, I was say, five didn't happen. if they're gonna put sprint in Halo, don't fucking do like what Reach did. Do it like this. This was a lot better. <laughs> yeah, and and again, I, I I've been trying to like iron out my thoughts with this game. Like this is where Halo should be already. Like this this shouldn't have been. We shouldn't have gotten four and five, and then finally gotten this. This, this should have been it. four already. I can tell you right now, if this if if the way it's going. And it keeps bringing the positives. This is probably in my top three Halos that are my favorite. Yeah, I think this is easily my favorite Halo if they stick the landing with this thing. If this is, if this taste was, if this little taste was this good, I can't imagine the rest of the game. Now, the biggest question is campaign good? That's my, that's my biggest. I have no idea, and I got a bad feeling. Achievers, I'm sorry to tell you. I have a terrible feeling about that campaign. I think there's a reason we haven't heard anything about it. I think there's a reason we only know that we going or we're going to a Halo ring and we might have a new now, AI friend and we know this dude's an engineer. Now, the thing is, they oversold the fuck out of Halo 5's campaign and that was probably the worst campaigns ever. That's true. So take that with a grain of salt. Like That's this one, they haven't really showed anything. So That's maybe true. they're just trying to keep it in wraps to be yeah. like, yeah, this is probably good. I mean, I don't remember because it was a long time ago. But did they oversell Halo 3's campaign in in, in RP? I remember. Or the, PR, excuse me. I remember Halo 3's campaign. The only thing they got, like they really showed. Do you remember the trailer? And I could be getting this wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was three. Of the, the one where he jumps off the cliff. That one. Then mm-hmm. there's the figures. Do you know what I mean by this? There was like figures of a bunch of like um, elites and stuff. And okay. it slowly pans to a bunch of people. And you see Master Chief with a grenade. Like I think so, or something. yeah. I remember that... that um, uh, trailer being showed a lot but it, yeah but like it wasn't three like had a five, lot of though. like like crazy like could like it had a lot of like cutscenes like the, it wasn't cutscenes excuse me it was a lot of um like tv ad, spots like ads tv, TV spot spots. ads yeah, yeah. yeah five though was. was different i it, was just like oh it's, it's, it it's kept locked. showing Sheesh. the same like it kept it kept being like look spartan lock oh my god he's hunting chief oh look at chief He's being hunted. He's on the run. Oh my god! Like, Remember the desert? Legs. There's a giant sandworm. It's like Dune. Like they had um, 
they had two they had two of the same commercials uh, one with yep. lock on the floor with chief yep. in front of him and then the uh, uh, opposite the opposite uh, yeah like, and i what? was like what is this and i was so i remember being like maybe spartan lock's gonna be cool and we played that match and they just threw his character out the window halfway through the game i was like what the fuck was this it's such a weird game but but this game looks good campaign is the biggest question mark i don't know if it's gonna be good i hope it is it's good if it's good it's probably this is probably the best halo yeah if if yeah if the, if if the campaign's good and again um i'm a fan of one and two's campaign i don't think mm. i'm as big of a fan as most people's are two i i do really really like three i think is my favorite i don't know hmm one, two, or three have always been my favorite because of the Flood. Flood has always been my favorite uh, enemies for uh, the Halo series. Yeah, yeah. I did love three's campaign. Two's campaign was really fun. If I had a rank, it probably three. probably one of the longest. I just don't remember if it is the longest now. I think it is the longest. Because it, yeah, that, was pretty, that one was pretty long. I remember playing that and yeah, being like, that, Jesus, this is That one going. I really enjoyed it just because you would go back and forth between playing as Arbiter and Chief. Yes, and I know you did it really in cool. three, but they did they, that's where they started it, was in two. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And, and I liked the kind of grandiose way they like tried to tell that story. I liked the um brute kind of boss fight thing that they had in two. That was really fun. But I do have worries with this campaign. I hope they're ameliorated or at least there is more conversation around the campaign because they are very much glossing over this thing. They're like they're th- th- I'm sure Microsoft slash 343 is very happy over these last two weekends of all the free press they're getting with everyone hyping up the multiplayer. But let's remember, we don't get a flight for the campaign. We're just going to have to play it and find out if we like it or not. So We'll see. We shall see, Alex. Now, these will be our closing thoughts. What, what, do, you, what do you walk away these, these two weekends? We've played th- these two weekends pretty extensively. What Let's do you leave it at that. Away? Every week, uh, the both weekends that this was out, we were playing it the whole time. Yep, every every time it was open. If I was if I was home, I was playing it. If I was not yeah, busy I, with if work, I had, yep. if, if I was busy, busy play it, I'd play that. Yep. So, and I was even. I think I think one of the strongest points is when I wasn't playing, I was thinking about playing the game. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like when I wasn't or couldn't play it, I was thinking about mm-hmm. playing it. And that's it a good thing. A, Addicting, and I loved every second of playing. Mm-hmm. Loved it. And Halo also check out, that check out my Twitter. I have dope ass clips up. Go look at it. Mm-hmm. Go check out Alex's too. He has cool clips up. But too, I, I got some pretty good no scopes, and I'm very happy with that skewer clip. When I shot that dude in his face with the skewer, mm-hmm. God, that must hurt. Oh, I didn't even know there was a metal for it too. I forget what it's called. I think it was called uh, mm-hmm. impaled or something. And it's getting Maybe. a headshot with the with the thing. Oh God, that felt so good. That thing must have hurt. Achievers. What did you think? Join us at the table. Remember, this is an episode for you as well. So get in the comments. Tell us what did you think of the flight. You can either tweet at us, comment below, or of course, patreon.com slash YouTubers to support us. That's how you can directly interact with the show. You can leave a question, comments, concern, thought, and or idea. And then give us your thoughts on the Halo Infinite flight. We'd love to cover some more stuff in next week's episode. Technically this week's episode. Um, of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast that posts every single Friday on a podcast service or YouTube of your choice. And again, thank you. The very quick, um, I think I speak for Alex with this. Thank you so much for all the new achievers. We're getting so many views on all of our content. We appreciate. We see you. We see you. We appreciate not only the comments, but we appreciate the likes. We appreciate you just slimpy clicking on the video. As long as you just click on it, that's enough for us. But we like it when you go the extra mile to help us with the algorithm. Remember, we're ruled by algorithms, and the only way you can help us is clicking on that like button or giving us a five star review on any podcast service that you like. And of course, the easiest way is a couple cents a day over on patreon.com slash easy achievers now alex thanks so much for not only playing halo with me but joining me today with talking about this fantastic flight i will keep our eyes peeled now if you did participate in the flight very quickly they did send a survey to you through your email not a huge fan of surveys maybe i'll do that but if you like it check your email there there should be one if you played the flight yep i don't have time for that but i might who knows Maybe. Aside from that, remember, eat your vegetables, but also, go cheap.
Go Chief.